and welcome back to the channel for the first time in a long time I actually washed my car <laughs> it seems that putting on a uh, 20 year old hood inspired me to wash the car despite the fact that the hood's not painted and it still looks like a 20 year old hood but um, it's actually clean so I forgot to do a little walk around and just kind of show where she's at now she's still a prototype everything's rough front splitters off the light up splitters are on the sides I'll turn those on for you show you those too I just figured uh, while it's clean, let's take advantage of it and see what she looks like. And here she is. 6 2.0. It's actually the third 1998 Camaro I've owned. I forgot that I had a red one. It was a uh, red 98 Z28 before I moved out here. And I got a navy blue Z28 when I moved out here. Modded it as a bunch of you have seen. So let's take a look at this side. That's my 20 year old hood. Got a video on that. These are our prototype Air Rocks. Um, they've been working great. I've actually got about a uh, solid 15% better gas mileage off of them, and I can definitely feel it sticking to the road better and breaking better after a while. I got the light up splitters on the side. We'll turn those on in a second. Little IROC Z decal. And a little IROC Motorsports etched into the side splitter. And then our other wheel fan. Coming up to the ZR28 style spoiler that we designed with a notch. Originally LG Motorsports designed a spoiler like this to get the most downforce at the track. It's very effective. A little diffuser on the back. My stock Z28 tips because I love them. I love the way those look. They're going to get changed, but I just want to enjoy them while I can. And then on this side, some more wheel fins. The side splitter without the winglet. Show them what that looks like. And IROC Z. Coming up on our prototype badges, too. So, all of this stuff is like a work in progress. But the inside is pretty much totally stock for now. It's a really nice one, though. So, I can get a better shot. Pretty clean on the inside. Could actually use a shampoo and a cleaning, but. You know, gotta love 1998. Cigarette lighter and a place to hold your pack. Larry's still with me after all these years. Happy to be in this car with that hood poking through it again. My friend Justin gave me that when he was in boot camp in the Marines about <laughs> a long time ago. And that's it for the inside. She's a stock 98 and I do really like this odd fabric. But yeah, all that's going to get changed. I'm going to pop the hood and it's a bigger mess than, mess than the hood itself is. So you'll notice right away I have a lot of holes in my airbox. That was from testing out the IROC Louvre style and <laughs> drilling through my airbox without re realizing it. Other than that, it's a stock LS1. Get some nice oil leaks since it's probably like 130,000 miles by now. Hood struts are off just while I was getting this temporary hood on here. 20 year old sticker on there. Yeah, not much to see under here. Ugh. Whistler style headlights, of course, because looks like a Sebring if you don't change those. <laughs> Turn signals to match and I have yet in my 20 years to find turn signals that do not fog up. I've sealed them, I've used multiple different ones, and I'm starting to realize that it's the socket. If you just put a washer on the socket, that's generally where it's coming in at. Just took me two decades to find that out, and clearly, I haven't done it yet. I still need to do it on these, this car. I just don't remember it until it gets a car wash, which is pretty rare. But yeah, I think she's looking sick. So my representation of what a 98Z28 would be if you fitted it with an IROC Z package. That hood's not the hood, that spoiler's not the spoiler, but uh, the wheel fans, the side splitters are getting there. That's it for now. She's nice and clean. May take her out and enjoy her. But before I do that, let's show you guys what light up splitters look like. There we go. Light up side splitters. 
I'm making side splitters for lord at least a decade and I always thought it was cool when people put a little color on the edge of them to match the car and I just thought it'd be cooler if you could change that color anytime you wanted to so that's what we have light up side splitters and as an option we make little winglets you can see it light up better at night but we can put any logo in there, etch it out, and it'll light up as well. Let's change this mode. Let's see it do some other stuff. So these strips can do a lot of different functions, but not when I'm <laughs> using the phone that they're connected to to film them. So instead I'm using <laughs> this little handheld remote it's hard to see. But yeah, that is the light up side splitter prototypes. That is the wheel fan prototypes. So I can get a better focus. And that's the whole prototype car. <laughs> now on this other side, this car will leave. This other side showed you that we have the light up splitter. We just don't have the winglet on here something you can easily take on and off without taking the side splitters off you can switch it out to have a winglet or not have a winglet you can see them a little better over here it's a little darker I guess there you go that's it <laughs> lights on the side of your car change color they can flash with your blinkers they can uh, change color from inside the car just don't recommend rolling around with flashing red, blue lights, etc. But um, I've never seen it before. I take it back, Downforce Solutions does it now for Challengers and some newer cars. But um, when I first started making these, I'd never seen it before. And again, our little wheel fans really help with keeping the brakes cool and speeding the air up under the car. And our cool little light splitters. We put the rock <laughs> in high rock. Alrighty, that's it guys. We'll flip it back around and uh, close this video out. But she's getting there. She's got a long ways to go, but she is getting there. That was it. Just a quick little video uh, documenting that I do clean my car. Not that one, but this one did get a bath today. So, if... Uh, if you like that video, I guess I can make some more of these just showing you current states of stuff. This car is a prototype, that car is a prototype. Um, so there's always a lot of stuff that's, to me, pretty cool and new that no one else has ever seen. Just sitting on these two piles of crap sitting in my driveway. I take it back, you're not a pile of crap, and you're getting there. But thank you for, <laughs> thank you for being a 23-year-old car and driving like you're, you know, five years old at best. So that's it. I just more than anything want to come out and stare at my car some. So let's see if I get a focus on it. Yeah. Look at that. Woo! Speed that up. Get some faster action. Let's change the mode, see what you got. It's just colors changing. Um, okay, cool. I'm going to get back at it. I actually have to run those wires inside the car right now. They're just hanging out on power banks. You can kind of see underneath there little USB power banks. Um, but yeah hoping the weather stays this way i might actually take her to bob's tonight and uh, if i do i'll film that all right thanks for watching